All right, my next problem was to write a function called sublength. It takes two parameters, a string and a single character. And uh, the function should search the string for the two occurrences of the character and return the length between them, including the two characters. If there are less than two or more than two occurrences of the character, the function should return zero. So for instance, uh, if we passed it Saturday and the letter A, then it would, uh, it would return six because uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. A to A is six, including the A's. If we passed it summer, uh, it would return two because one, two, the two M's. Uh, if we passed it M, summer and M. Um, anyway, so this I just did to uh, quickly calculate that, that it would work doing the um, index, you know, if, if this index minus this index plus one would equal the output. And yes, that seems to work. That index minus uh, the second index minus the first index plus one uh, equaled the correct output. So I used that. And then what I did was, uh, I initialized a variable, uh, to keep track of how many of that character were in that string. And then I created, uh, an array to, um, save anytime I, I found a match, then I would save that index there, not the letter, but the actual index index itself. So, uh, wrote a for loop to go through the string and for each letter of the string it compares uh, the letter in that index to the, the to the given letter and uh, if it if it was the same then it would increase the count and it would save that index to the indexes so uh, for instance if I put in summer then it would the count would be two because they're uh, summer and M and then the count would be two and then it would save, um, let's see, it would save index two and index three. So it would save two and three in, uh, in an array. Then, uh, so then if the count was less than two or, or more than two, so if, if there was less than one instance of that character in the string or more than or more than uh, less than two instances of that character in the string or more than two instances of that character in the string, then it would return zero. Uh, but if, uh, if there was two instances, uh, then it would return indexes one, indexes one minus indexes zero uh, plus one. And that would be, it would return the six minus the one uh, plus one. And it would return the three uh, minus the two plus one. And uh, so that's what I came up with. So if there's anyone that can uh, give me a better, a better way to do this, that would be great.